guys let's get this makeup tutorial started so we're gonna start off with some skincare first I'm gonna cleanse my face cleanse it really really well put on some eye cream and as well I'm gonna put in some moisturizer and put a lot of it you know good skin creates good makeup good makeup starts with good skin so we really want to take care of our canvas first so now we're gonna start off our makeup with some color correction 2020 has been quite the year so there's a lot of discoloration for me to address we're gonna take the yellow color from my NYX palette and really cover up any dark circles as well as any blemishes any acne scars and really just work it in there because we're gonna let this sit on our face for about one minute after putting it on now you might be wondering why we're waiting well waiting helps the product stay on your face longer and it also helps it blend better without your makeup brush absorbing all of it so this is a really good time to put on some chapstick prep your lips you know put on a lot of chapstick and now we're gonna go in with our foundation so this is a dr backstage foundation i really really like it and i'm gonna heat it up on the back of my hand first and i'm gonna go in with a beauty brush but first i'm gonna use a flat foundation brush to spread it out evenly don't worry if it's not perfect it's gonna be blended in afterwards now my forehead is its own surface so it needs an extra dose of that foundation now you guessed it we're gonna wait grab some water as you wait you know contemplate the universe me I'm gonna start filling in my brows I'm only gonna fill in the first half of my brows with some Anastasia brow powder because the second half we're gonna be using a different product probably now a good time to blend that makeup's been sitting on your face long enough so I'm using my beauty blender the flat edge and I'm covering my eyelids with that extra foundation it's really important to cover your whole face including your eyelids now I'm gonna set my makeup with a little bit of finishing powder first I'm gonna target my under eyes and I'm going to let that bake so I'm not going to touch the under eyes after I set that and then I'm going to use the rest of that powder to really set the rest of my foundation so it's not moving anywhere we don't waste product here so I'm going to take a fluffy brush and use the rest of that and apply it on my forehead perfect beautiful looking great so now we're gonna move on and finish our brows and instead of using that same brow pencil we're gonna use a different brow pencil because we're using a much thicker product this is the Anastasia brow pomade and I'm gonna finesse myself guys a whole new eyebrow as you can see I'm not following my natural shape I'm actually creating a much higher arch than what it's supposed to look like and this is because I really want to create an elegant Kendall Jenner looking brow which means I need a higher arch and with the brow pomade it makes it really easy to do that it's such a thick product it just applies on really really well brush it out make sure it looks as seamless as possible and as you can see I'm not brushing my entire brow I'm only brushing the first two halves replicate it with the second eye again totally disrespecting my natural shape and creating a completely different arch this will look really really nice with the red lip now we're gonna set it with some cannabis sativa NYX eyebrow oil oil or brow setter pretty self-explanatory there you know brush the first third of your eyebrows up and then brush the rest out nothing too fancy but we really want to get those eyebrow hairs to pop and as you can see the fact that I didn't brush out the tail of my eyebrow makes it look even more real at least that's just my opinion now we're gonna go in with some contour taking a dense round brush I'm gonna contour my nose bridge and I'm gonna draw that line to underneath my eyebrow as well I'm not I'm not gonna stop at my nose bridge I'm gonna do the entire first half of my eyebrow too this really will give me that nose bridge structure that I really really want and don't worry if it's too heavy right now because I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and blend it out just like I'm doing right here so you want to blend 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 girl until you like what you see 
So taking that same bronzer, taking that same fluffy brush, we're gonna put it on the outer corners of our eyes. This is gonna create some depth to our eyelids. And now we're gonna take a bronzer brush and really sculpt those cheeks. So suck in your face like a blowfish and really focus on sculpting those cheekbones. Always remember to brush in an upwards motion, never brush in a downwards motion. That will only drag your face down. We really wanna brush in an upward motion. And contour your forehead too. This will create the illusion of a smaller face. Now for your jaw contour, I do something a little bit different. I actually draw that jawline from behind my ear to my jawline. I know some people follow their natural jawline, but I just find that doing it this way where I continue the line to go underneath my ear, it creates the illusion of a more narrow face. Just like that, perfect. So there's a saying in makeup, you either do your eyes or your lips. And because today is all about that red lip, we're keeping our eyes super neutral. So take a very light beige and pat it onto your eyelid, your first inner corner. Don't rub it, don't brush it, don't go in a windshield motion, pat it down. We really wanna deposit that eyeshadow only in the first third. Now taking that beige again and mixing it with a little bit of brown to get a little bit darker shade, we're gonna hit the middle or the ball of our eyes. So just the middle, patting it again, not sweeping it. We're gonna add that dimension to our eyes bit by bit. So now it's starting to look a little bit like this. We're gonna take a round Morphe brush, get a little bit darker and hit the outer corners of our eyes, really target our creases. We wanna create that beautiful smoky cat eye look. And now with a clean brush, we're gonna brush that out and really brush that dark shade along the creases of our eyes to really create dimension. And now you're looked with something like this, very romantic. So for the eyeliner, I usually love to use a pencil liner. I love using a brown pencil because it really makes your eyes pop without looking too intense. And that's exactly what we're here for. We don't want to focus on the eyes. We really want to focus on the lips. And don't worry about creating a wing just yet. We're just focusing on outlining our upper lash line to make our eyes pop. So get as close to the lash line as you possibly can. The closer you get, the nicer your look will end up. So now we're gonna go in with a brown liquid liner. I'm using one by M Cosmetics. And a trick to get a perfect cat eye every single time is to follow your lower lash line. What I mean by that is, imagine if your lower lash line were to continue up always, you want to continue that upwards trend. So here I'm making a very small cat eye, but it'll make a huge difference. And ba-bam, look at that, a perfect eyeliner each time. So. Again, following your lower lash line, you really want to create a tiny wing and you'll get a perfect cat eye every single time. And look at that. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mascara. Okay. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's by Shiseido. It's fantastic for layering and especially with tiny little Asian lashes like mine, it is perfect. So use your mascara in a zigzaggy motion so that every single lash catches the mascara and honey, bring on the layers. I layered this look about seven different coats of mascara and this is what you get. Mm, gorgeous, honey. Work it. Now it is time for blush. I'm using an Anastasia blush and a fluffy Real Techniques blush brush. So I'm gonna gently take all colors and dab the extra product. And now here's where a lot of people make a mistake with their blush. You don't wanna use the apple of your cheek. You actually wanna follow your cheekbone. So where you would put your highlighter, I want you to put your blush there too. Start small. Really, you can always put on more blush, but you can't take it off. So really work and be gentle. I also put a little bit on my nose just because it creates a little bit of that jolly winter effect and I use my fingers to fix it. Now we're gonna go into a highlighter. We're almost done. We're gonna get to the lips, I swear. Taking your eyeshadow brush, you're gonna put a little bit on the inner thirds of your eyes and a little bit on the inside of your corner of your eyes to really make your eyes pop. 
and we're going to take a fluffy brush do highlight our nose bridge highlight our brow bone really all the areas that the light hits our face we really want to make that face glow and where i put my blush i'm going to put my highlighter <laughs> there we go it's really looking great. You can never say no to more highlighter. Now it is time for our main product. Uh, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Lip Stunna Paint. We're gonna give it a good shake, but before we even get to painting our lips, we're gonna take a Q-tip and remove all that extra makeup that fell onto our lips. And we're gonna line our red lip. It's super important you line your lips, especially with a red lipstick. Now, with a red lip, you have to be careful, you can't take a stroke back. So you wanna be slow, take your time, nobody's waiting for you. Now a tip for your cupid's bow is to draw your cupid's bow in the shape of an X like I'm doing here. This will make sure you'll always get a sharp, snatched cupid's bow, just like Rihanna. So draw out the rest of your lips. Again, take your time with this, be slow, and you'll eventually get a great lip outline for you to work with, just like that. Now, taking your Stunna paint, we're going to, again, work at the same tempo. Go slow. I'm so sorry my camera's out of focus. Nothing I can do there. But I would start in a safe zone. So I would start on your inner lips first and then work your way to your outer lips. Again, I'm taking my time here and I'm really making sure I'm not effing up and drawing outside of the lines I created for myself. It's okay to take your time. How many times do I have to say that? All right, I close my lips just to see if there's any spots I've missed and clearly I have. So I'm gonna go in again and paint over the areas that I missed and that should be it. This is the best way I found to give you a crisp, crisp lip. As you can see, results speak for themselves. Now use your finger, do the thing, get rid of the extra lipstick, blot it away, honey. And now the final, final touch is to grab a little bit of a highlighter, put it on your Cupid's bow to really make your lips pop. And then this is what I do as an extra tip. I take that same highlighter and I put a little bit on the inside of my lip so that it creates an even more luscious look. And just like that, honeys, you got your elegant red lip. This is perfect for if you want to go to a holiday party, a work party, a first date, a second date. Anytime you're feeling a little bit sassy and you want to wow people, a good red lip look never goes out of style. And I hope you guys enjoy this look as much as I did. And good luck. Good night, good night.